Let's give nature a seat at the table. People, nature, and food are interrelated and can be a part of the solution to the planet's biodiversity crisis. That's what Indigenous-led nature conservation group Nature United is aiming to explain through its Food for Good dinner event. We're just trying to feature as much from our culture to represent what biodiversity means and how we can have a sustainable future. In order to meet global climate and biodiversity goals, people will have to shift the way they produce and consume food. The food system causing one-third of greenhouse gas emissions, 90 percent of land use conversion and 70 percent of global water usage. The first thing we can do is try and eliminate food waste. 30 percent of the food that's produced is wasted. So once we deal with that, then we can think about the choices we make around what we buy and trying to buy things that are made responsibly, that are locally produced, that are organic, but also thinking about the practices that are uh, used to produce those food. Nature United says Indigenous people and local communities are vital leaders in finding solutions to environmental challenges. 80% of the Earth's remaining biodiversity is within Indigenous lands. Indigenous chefs highlighting their traditional foods and conscious, sustainable methods while conceiving the menu for the event. It's all about thoughtful use and reuse of ingredients, using what grows around you. A lot of things that you can do, just, just try to rethink uh, what you're buying. Don't just buy something that has to be shipped from overseas, like a dragon fruit, and you're putting that into your fruit salad. Try to incorporate ingredients that we have around us, right, and consume as much as we can within our own areas. And let's think about, take the time to really think about and reflect on what it took to bring this food to, to here tonight. And as we're consuming it, to think about the impact that we're having, whether negative or positive on nature and on people, and to really use this moment to spark conversation, meaningful conversation about the solutions. We all need to conserve what we have now for our future generations to flourish, right? So, and I think that's exactly what we need to do. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.